everybody. Welcome to the Midday. I am here right now with Chelsea Hernandez and David Tillman. I'm Melanie Lawson. Very busy news day today. We're going to talk to David in just a second about the weather. But first, it's my first Midday, Chelsea. And so we're so excited love, girl. to have mm -hmm. Melanie on the show today. And like you were just saying, a very important topic of conversation. Uh, we're talking about what you're talking about today. And David is our go-to man for everything weather. Absolutely. We'll get back to you in just a moment. Yes. But first, David, you know, this has been a surprise all the way around Imelda it has is. been mm -hmm. it sort of turned from a tropical depression into a tropical storm like right, that made right. landfall and yeah. then disappeared or didn't disappear just morphed again and I, and I think uh, it was probably a tropical something before they actually named it but okay. they finally did they got everybody's attention and rightfully so because uh, we do think over the next couple of days this could still be an issue even for Houston even though we missed the worst of it last night we still have more rain on the way now you saw a whole lot of rain in the south uh, the city of Houston proper and to the north, not nearly as much. It looks like the west almost got nothing there. Yeah, uh, hardly nothing out to the west. It, it appears that a feeder band developed over the coast. We, we've, we've heard about those before. Mm -hmm. And that one basically robbed all the moisture from the feeder band that's sitting over Houston right now. It's still sitting there. It's just not doing much. We think once this one that's near the coast goes away, the one that's over Houston could activate. And that could be late today or tonight or tomorrow. Computer model is actually saying it's going to be tomorrow. So all right, we're we certainly at not out of the woods here in Houston just All yet. right, are we looking at a whole lot more uh, rain? And certainly at one point we were talking five to ten inches or more? That could still happen. Okay. It could still happen. I mean, that, that one feeder van this morning produced up to 21 inches of rain in southeast parts of Matagorda County. So uh, if they sit over you and it just rains at two to three inches an hour for several hours, you can get problems and they could still happen here in Houston. What are you most worried about right now? I'm most worried about the rain. I mean, it's never been about the wind with this particular thing. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and as usual with the tropical system, they're extremely hard to forecast to be exact at any one given location. So I, I, I'm more concerned that people will let their guard down because they looked out this morning. There's not water standing in their streets here in town, uh, but you could very well look out there tomorrow morning. It'd be totally different. Yeah, because, you know, a whole lot of people just decided to take to the roads today. So oh, those guys, they don't know what they're talking about. Right. But you really want to warn people that this could be dangerous and could be dangerous inside uh, inside of Houston city limits. Yeah. And, and I don't think it's going to, in Houston, necessarily be so bad that people don't get home from work today. Okay. So that's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've had that happen before. But late tonight, if you're going to be out, if you've got, you've got to get to that early shift, you might have to deal with something then. And then certainly as we get into the midday hours, there could be a lot more rain around. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Well, David Tillman, and of course, our entire weather team right now is all over this. Every time I walk back into the weather office, I see about half a dozen people all working uh, at one time. But right. this afternoon, we will certainly be paying a lot of attention. You can go to all of our social media platforms, and our weather guys and gals are there working hard. <laughs> so thanks a lot, David. All right. I know you <laughs> got to get back to work. Well, now I want to talk to Chelsea about some fun hey. stuff. Right, hey, yes, in of the course. House. And Absolutely. now, since we are seeing a lot of that rain, this is what's coming up on the midday today. We're talking about thrift stores where you can go and get Good. those really cheap raincoats and rain, rain boots, boots for this weather. Also, who's hiring in Houston? We're letting you know who needs you right now to get you a job and get you hired. Plus, the flying saucer pie company. Pie. We all scream for pie along uh, with our ice cream. But yeah, and we? the best pie in town. It or is. So the Certainly, yeah. exactly, and I know, Melanie, you've stopped by a couple of times. Not on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Which Not we're going to show you why. But certainly up. other times, because they're great 365. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Miss Mel, we'll all come grab you when we're getting ready to all head right, over to right. that I'll story. I'll be pie in the meantime. Thanks a lot, Chelsea. All right, Chelsea. thanks, Melanie. So right now I want to get to today's digital deal of the day, which is also a perfect time to score some big savings with the weather especially these are waterproof winter boots great for the rain originally guys seventy dollars right now down to just eleven bucks with a promo code you can find that promo code on our website abc13.com is that boots with the fur yes boots with the fur fur <laughs> fur okay so over on our uh, website we have a link directly to this website right here all you do is type in that code which is sale 47 these boots again you're saving 58 dollars on these boots they have plenty other boots that you can go check out so just head to abc13.com i also have the link shared for you conveniently 
conveniently on my social media pages, Chelsea ABC 13. Okay, so the next thing I want to get to are my favorite thrift stores. I actually had a woman email me that she's driving into Houston for the weekend with one of her best friends, and they're hitting up all of my favorite thrift stores, and I thought this was the perfect time to mention to you guys to stack up savings, and especially with the fall season right around the corner and the rainy weather that we're having. So tomorrow morning, Family Thrift Outlet is the place that you want to be at because they put out new merchandise at 7 a.m. People line up for this sale. I kid you not, everything's $2 and you can stock up on, like I was saying earlier, those raincoats, those rain boots, everything for two bucks. You just cannot go wrong with these savings. Next up, First Dibs Consignment. They're out in Memorial. Every dress that I find inside of this store is $10 and under, and I'm talking name brands, Michael Kors, Kate Spade, you name it, they got it. And Style Encore Woodlands. They actually just put out all of their new fall merchandise for you guys to check out as well and like I'm like I said they have amazing deals for you to check out all right so Jerry what day of the week is it it is Wednesday I think yeah. man I was hoping he was gonna say hump day oh, right hump now. Day. <laughs> there you go <laughs> Melanie has the right attitude all right so every hump day we do a segment here at ABC 13 who's hiring in Houston I'm working around the clock to find companies who are looking to hire you to get you either you're wanting to switch careers or maybe you just need that extra job especially with the holidays coming up so every Wednesday we do a who's hiring in Houston segment you can head to ABC 13.com slash jobs to go check out the newly updated list and all you have to do is click on the job that interests you and it takes you directly to the website to start applying. You should also join our Who's Hiring in Houston Facebook group. That is a community service right there. People from all around the city just hop on there, say what they're looking for, say what their qualifications are, and we have people that just find so much success with our Who's Hiring in Houston, so hopefully you can too. All right, Jerry, my producer Jerry on the camera. I, think uh, I need some pies in my life. You need some pies in your life, of Anybody course. Pie, come on in here, Miss Melanie. Oh, man, it's let's time pie. to talk pie. By the way, it was so, I was sitting here listening to you talk about thrift stores. When I was a kid, my mom always took us to what she called our resale shop. Yeah, yeah. But I love the name vintage. That vintage. makes everything. It's not old. It's not secondhand. It's vintage. It's vintage. And you know what? Vintage can cost you That's a lot exactly of money. Right. Especially <laughs> if you can find some really great ones where people give away oh. their outfits after wearing it once or twice. Exactly. Hello, who does Still that? Still tags on it half yeah. the time. <laughs> too. Exactly. That's my sale. exactly, exactly. So tell me about the pies. We talk about this okay. every Thanksgiving, the line wrapped around like the block. Exactly. So I'm fairly new to Houston. I've mm -hmm. been here about two years and I've seen the video of the flying saucer it's pie. Amazing. Oh my goodness. The lines just, oh my gosh, look at this video we have playing. The, yeah, exactly. Oh, and they wait out there for hard. like two days. It doesn't matter what the weather is. Oh, these are look some diehard fans. So Wait. I gotta say, I've never had a taste of this pie before. It's fantastic pie. It really is. It is worth waiting in line or so a lot of people think, <laughs> but it really is. They even have to limit you. You can't go in and buy like 20 pies for all your friends. You only get a certain number. Oh, yeah. wow. So that's some pie when it has to be limited, if you know what I mean. Okay, and so the backstory to this, um, they have a secret to their most popular pie, fresh ah, strawberry the Strawberry cream. pie is fantastic. <gasps> oh, is this like strawberry shortcake? Like the same, right, Jerry? Yeah, yeah so same, same ingredients. Pie. Yeah, except with pie crust. Right. Oh, you're speaking my language. It is pretty fantastic. Okay, I think we have a sound bite with we them, right, do. Jerry? Okay. One of um, the things about this place that makes me truly proud is my father was an immigrant. This is the physical embodiment of the American dream. It's right here. He came to this country with absolutely nothing. Met a woman, fell in love, had kids, and started a successful business that's now on its second generation. And that's something I'm intensely proud of. That is pretty great, don't you think? That this is a family that has been doing this now for two generations? I, these types of stories just melt my heart. Yeah and my mouth is now drooling. Yeah. So if you're like me, you should head out and check them out. Um, but since we're talking about 
pie and food and, <laughs> and you know. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving. We're going to be here before we know it. I know. Lake, and it'll be here. Exactly. Did I hear today is National Cheese Cheeseburger Day, although I think every day <laughs> is National Cheeseburger Day, but this specifically. This is specifically National Cheeseburger Day, so as your afternoon is getting on a roll, you don't really have to think about what's for dinner, because if you can finish a three-pound burger, what? then you might just be <laughs> in luck. Uh, Fuddruckers. Not one, right? Uh, well, Fuddruckers is selling a three-pound burger challenge. If you finish the three-pound burger and a pound of fries in an hour, you win a $20 <laughs> gift card, a victory t-shirt, but side note, a reservation is required. <laughs> reservation. And so is Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right? Jerry, exactly. Okay, before we wrap up, I just want to say, this is as if you're eating 12 quarter pounders from McDonald's. So you also win a stretcher to the nearby <laughs> dock in a box. So, so have exactly. at it all you folks who love your national cheeseburger. Yum. Exactly. So. All right, Mel, I'm it's so happy great. you got to join me. This was great. We'll they told me not to turn around because you can see my wires. Yep. <laughs> Here's behind the scenes. This is behind the scenes. You get Literally. to see my behind, behind the scenes. So there you go. Have a great day. We're going to all try to stay dry and safe today. Yes, please do so. We'll see you tomorrow.